So the imagery in this is stunning. The documentary has a narration style. It allows us to explore Antarctica and it's so beautiful and likely so beautiful because of his inaccessibility. So his beauty has been preserved. Um, so the subject of this doc is, is Antarctica and it's wildlife. And we have this trek to the Antarctica circle and we see the success of that journey. Um, and even though we are following these two sailboats, I do, and, 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 and this trek is a, a big part of the part two of this, I do still feel like Antarctica as a whole is the star of this documentary. It's the focus. It could have easily been where we have cameras on the boats and we're focusing on the people. And then there's moments where they did that towards the end when they're celebrating. But that could have easily been the entirety of this documentary is the focus on the people traveling from, you know, from this Ukrainian um port to Antarctica or, you know, the journeys through the ice and, and what they're going through on the boat. And that would have been very interesting. But what I thought was unique about this was it's like, no, we're going to make Antarctica the star. And because the focus was on drone shots and um, beautiful landscape shots, and we're seeing all this stuff from above, whales and the penguins, and we're seeing all this sort of national ge geographic style shooting of um, animals in their national habitat, it made me feel like I'm peeking in on something I would not have seen. There's so many great um, stark images of Antarctica, of the location. I thought there was a very sort of meditative, a meditative approach with the narration that I thought uh, reflected the sort of uh, disposition and mood that um, is uh, typical of this type of experience that it's a very unique uh, job. I think the they were coming from uh, an Eastern European port, a Ukrainian port, I, I believe, and they, the travel to this to Antarctica is uh, not um, that safe. And I thought that the piece had a really great way of feeling both like a nature documentary and like a human interest story that I thought really worked well. And I thought that um, it just really had a sort of pacing and cadence that was very easy to um, get into and allowed you to sort of have a, a experience that um, was similar to the actual travel that I thought was um, quite interesting. And I thought there was a lot of um, interesting overlaps about uh, the dynamics of what's happening on location, the climate changes in that location, and sort of the big picture um, implications of how other parts of the world um, and other uh, dynamics of human industrialization has affected um, Antarctica and how it's it's uh, both uh, not affected by those uh, dynamics in terms of uh, human interaction because it's such a dangerous place. You see so many natural um, settings that, that seem quite pristine, but also the, the effects of humans still uh, ch changing the dynamics of how um, that environment can be navigated and how it can be used um, uh, by businesses. It was incredible just to know that this is on the same earth that we all live. It really seemed like a whole nother planet. Uh, the footage was otherworldly. The narration itself was such a great performance. It was so calming um, and rich, smooth. Um, it was easy to follow with the structure of the two parts of this documentary. Um, the second part with the navigating the Antarctic Circle was so cool. Um, it was crazy to think that those two small ships could withstand such a voyage that it was on. Uh, so that was incredible to watch. And also the people jumping off. Um, can I just note how crazy that looked uh, in 1.5 degree water? Um, yeah, I just thought this was an incredible documentary and showed some amazing footage of Antarctica. This film was just crazy beautiful. I mean, the cinematography was breathtaking. From one shot to the next, it was just awe-inspiring. I, I loved it. Um, I think that they made a really interesting and educational film because I enjoyed learning about Captain Cook, and I felt that it was a shame that he never actually made it to his destination to get to see this beautiful, incredible area. Um, filmmakers chose their music incredibly well. I thought that that really lifted the piece and it was so unique, too. That guitar was gorgeous. It reminded me of a flamenco guitar, the tone quality and everything like that. It had that little bit of Spanish influence to it. Sorry, it is squeaky time for the dog, so that is what you hear. Um, anyway, the voiceover in this, I loved it. I loved his pacing, his inflection. 
I don't know who did it, but I kept thinking of David Carradine. And that's who kept popping into my head. The the images they were able to get were beautiful and gorgeous. And the the fact that they were sharing them was really, really special. Um, and then the story itself of kind of the starting with the history and of, you know, the initial James Cook or James Cook. Anyway, the Cook expedition. Um, and then kind of going from there to current day and what they were trying to accomplish or, you know, hoping to do, um, I thought was really, really fascinating. And just I thought that it it was great to learn the historical side of it and also like what kind of sparked the idea or like what was driving um, this idea to do this now. So getting to see this footage and getting to, you know, hear about their journey I think matched that really well um, because it can be like multiple things. It's like intensely beautiful and intensely alluring, intensely, you know, intensely, I think you said charming at one point, but it's also like intensely like inhospitable and, you know, uh, intensely like it dangerous and things like that. So I think that like, it's just like, it's just an intense place. And um, so I think for me personally, like that's, like I said, like that's the, one of the first adjectives that I would always use. They have this amazing two chapters of quality footage of what it takes to explore Antarctica in this woods with talented, adventurous, passionate people. I'm glad we now have the ability and technology to explore this impossibly pure lands, even though it is risky and I hope we also develop ways to preserve this lands as well. We have great views of whales, their groupings or formations in this Fibonacci structure, looking at penguins as well, and this icy paradise that was at some point elusive to the captain, Jack Cook. Amazing music score as well to complement the views and feels.